I know Purple, Max, Zax, when I wake up every day, I, I often think to myself, I can't wait until one of my favorite cult films from the 80s, 70s, 90s gets taken and turned into an ideological tool, <laughs> say for <laughs> trans representation or LBGDQ plus rights or to promote communism. I, I, I can't wait for another production like that. And I didn't have to wait for this one. We are getting a remake of Fight Club. Only it will be girl power. It will be gay girl power Fight Club. Wow. Tell me what you think about this, you guys. Well, I'd, I'd first just like to say, I think this is a little bigoted. The article says <laughs> LGBT. Where's the Q pl IA plus, guys? You're right. I know. I'm first, sick. I know. I'm tired of having this conversation. Why are we leaving out the other <laughs> letters? It's it's extremely frustrating. So I don't think this article is taking this seriously. So I'm glad that we can at least have it's a not. discussion about uh, about. I agree. This. I mean, it, we're talking about the most marginalized of the marginalized <laughs> of the marginalized here. And what do they do? They marginalize them even more. Why They're not doing all girls Ghostbusters? <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah. That's a good idea. You yeah. think somebody would have jumped on that? <laughs> I think so. You know what's funny <laughs> is that <laughs> they literally had this same conversation in a writer's room somewhere in 2015 yeah. or 2014. They literally said, That's a good idea. <laughs> and we all, and and everyone said, nodded their heads and they said, Yep. And they said, don't even bother with a script. We'll just let them do what they want. Improvise. Yeah, just put the camera somewhere near them. Just point it, you know, in a general direction. And just yeah. let them do their thing. They're they they're professionals. They're funny, right? They can, they can improvise. Yeah, we've got you know, four of the funniest women comedians. So they, they can go with it. Yeah. It's going to work great. <laughs> what could go wrong? Yeah. What could oh, go God. wrong? Uh, so this LB LGBTQ plus QIA XYZ remake. <laughs> so they're going to call this bottoms. Well, I guess oh my that God. tells this, us this could be incredibly problematic for them. I don't think they thought this through because the no, highest level of domestic violence actually comes from uh, lesbians. Lesbians. Right. <laughs> bottoms. So oh God. I, I, why didn't they call it Butch and Dom? That's I, I don't know. Bottom <laughs> seems more of a... Never mind. So, yeah. 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 So, the studio describes this remake of Fight Club as the lesbian version. <laughs> God. <laughs> hey, stop laughing lesbian. so I can lecture you guys. Listen, listen. <laughs> this movie is not made for you. But if you don't see it, if you guys don't see this movie, you're a bigot. <laughs> oh, yeah. But oh, but also remember good. it's not made for you though. Just to just to reiterate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just to better watch yeah. it. Don't this movie I tell you won't what... have meatloaf in some of our mouths. <laughs> yeah. I, I tell you, you what, I don't I, I don't like it, so I probably shouldn't watch it, right? I definitely shouldn't <laughs> exactly, talk about exactly. it. Too. If you yeah. if you don't like it, don't watch it. But also if you don't support it, then you are part of the problem. Just you know, yeah. you're you're actively against this if you don't watch it but don't watch it because it's not made for you peace <laughs> yeah, mic mike drop later no stay in your lane exactly <laughs> it, the movie centers on you're not gonna believe this two queer unpopular girls who start a fight club in their senior year of high school <laughs> to impress and have sex with cheerleaders I'm not, oh you know, my God. I didn't get to go to an American school, but aren't cheerleaders usually having sex with the football players? <laughs> indeed. Indeed. <laughs> I would say that this movie is fetishization like we mm -hmm. see. And what's crazy to me is it really seems to demean and kind of turn into a joke, if not a stereotype, the very lifestyle that they seem to say that shouldn't be stereotyped and turned into a joke. It doesn't seem very progressive, does it, to be honest? Uh, you say it does seem that they're, they're taking something that you know, could potentially be you know, a serious film and they're turning it into, as you say, something that's uh, fetishized. And 
I, I don't know about you guys, but it doesn't look like either of these ladies could beat anything up. <laughs> no, not only that, but I mean, it, I don't. I see a size zero and maybe a size two or four. I, I'm just wondering, you know, where's the representation of the plus size lesbians? Because that's what this movie really needs to be: having a Fight Club to have sex with size zero cheerleaders. That's I really what this, what this movie really is. Really needs it's Gina Carano to just come in and clean Ooh, house. Yes, oh, agreed. Bravo. Bravo. I like it. Great point. Well, first of all, Gina would, yeah, she would just out, outshine, outfight. Mm -hmm. She's more gorgeous than these two women. She is much in, in better shape than these two women. Uh, or I, I would call these kids. Like these these two women do not look like. Yeah, them, you know. That's why Hollywood is sexualizing them. They look like little girls. Oh, those are not man, women. That's right. Mm -hmm. But it's only fair, it, right? Because uh, if Fight Club had Brad Pitt. And he's just shredded, right? Every, yeah. Like that was the yeah. first time that we really saw Brad Pitt, like when he had a yep. shirt off. And and every guy in the 90s was trying to look like Brad Pitt. It's Absolutely. only fair that we get that same thing in this film, right? Let's yeah. get let's get Gina in there. Why not? I, I don't I don't know. I look at these two young women and I go, you know what? I don't see any fighting. I don't see any fight club. And I see a lot of really disgusting Hollywood producers fetishizing these women it's uh hollywood is just it's really losing me in many many ways <clears throat> I, got, I got a couple things on this one though but for you which is first they don't have any new ideas second if these two were to fight you guys would it be the shortest fight of all time or the longest fight of all time and in the chat it's been called out but Mackenzie dern yes please let's get her in this movie you, you could do a women's fight club, but do a mature woman's fight club. Do women in their 30s. It's yeah. Been done. There's a film called Rays from 2013, which starred Zoe Ball, who's a, um, a stunt woman. It's a fantastic film. Basically, it's a group of women. They get abducted, brought to an underground lair, and they're fought to fight each other. Yeah, but there's no cheerleader lesbian scene. scene. True, very true, yes. That's what I was thinking when I was watching the film. If only the cheerleader lesbians in this. You know what this I film do. really needs more of is, is definitely that. I, uh, most of these concepts, though they are rehashed versions or reboots or whatever you want to call them, they could be done in a form that's respectful. We could get something good, but they don't want to write it, nor do they really know how to write it. Could you imagine this? I could see this and I'd actually go see this. It, it, it would be progressive. It also would be interesting is have Gina Carano take the role that Brad Pitt played and have some really fat, pasty IT guy take the role of Edward Norton. You could work in these progressive concepts but it would be organic, it would be real. And I think that it would actually accomplish what they say they want to accomplish. But Max, like you said, I mean, either either they're bound by ideology or they're just freaking hacks. Has ever. This is Salty Texas C. I am Corey DB. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you've seen and heard, please hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you on board. That way you know, and we have things like live streams, which we are going to be doing every Tuesday evening. Take care. I hope you're having a great 2022.